What's up guys, we are here with Axel Time vs Nintendi. I was watching some OST games, so I missed the start of this. <clears throat> so Nintendi has a sand team with potentially mega slow bro. The Suicon looks like a potential win con for Axel 10. Kinda like Axel's team. They yeah, also have a Talonflame, which is interesting. You never see Talonflame Sun and Moon, obviously, because of the nerf. Like, it's super rare. I mean, you just Jarrow Ball here if you Nintendo, you, or you. I don't think you can afford to predict around this Brilum. Brilum seems like a threat. Like, if you predict the fighting move. Step point and going into clef, I don't know. If you max defense clef, maybe. Man, just went for SD. So, I think he's FD spore, double stab, so I don't think he has rock tomb. So, going town flames there is fine, it works out fine. I get Intenny's play, because next turn you could have gone back to Ferrothorn if you went for Mark Punchy and you could have scouted for rock tomb. I think you just go to Suicune on a potential Wisp or Brave Bird. Or you can go in your own Talon. If you think this is bulky Talon, your own Talon is bulky. But yeah, he just makes the Coon play on the Wisp and he dodges. <laughs> so we will see Nintendo going into Clef here probably. Or Wisping again if he's Spadef Talon potentially. Or, um, I don't think he would go Hard Ferrothorn with the Burn. I say slow or clef or stay in a wisp again. Okay, okay, nice play going to Talon Flame as that covers the Clefable and also covers the Wisp again play. So any play Talon looks kinda cool. This guy has like all the laddie answers, Nintendi. Ferrothorn, Excadrill, Clef, and Tita. Like, even if it's HP Fire, Laddie to hit Ferrothorn, he has other answers. Okay, it's bulk up Talonflame, and Excel 10 probably runs more speed on his Talonflame or wins a speed die and taunts Nintendi before he can go for bulk up. Yeah, like we were almost said, the crew not being status there yeah, really might be big. So he knows this, has to go for Brave, but I'll switch out. So he goes into Landris. Get some hammered on a Talonflame. Leftovers are real, leftovers are pretty obvious on Bulk Up. Talonflame, he can go for Rocks here. Nintendo Spinner is Excadrill, which doesn't beat Landris that well. Like, it doesn't beat Landris at all, but I'm trying to say. Like, if Excadrill spins and Landris comes in every time, I'm like, of course, Excadrill can spin on a turn, it's out versus like. Actually, no, Excadrill doesn't spin versus anything, honestly. I mean, it does spin because it outspeeds some things, but it really doesn't enjoy spinning versus Suicune and taking a Scald. Spinning versus Lando taking an EQ and Helmet, spinning versus Laddie and taking a Draco or something. I guess it can spin versus Laddie potentially. But, yeah. It doesn't really spin worth as much besides that. I guess it can... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it speeds the Mega Melrose before the Mega Evolution. I don't think he would be wild enough to run um, a regular Meta Gross and Mega Latios. <laughs> Pretty sure he's Mega Meta. Nintendo has the Clef and the Slowbro, so he's prepared for Mega Medichim. Like, if he's Mega Slowbro, that doesn't care about Medichim at all, even if it has T Punch. So, yeah, Pharaoh came out on the rocks and got up rocks on its own, so Axel 10. I guess, I guess just getting rocks up by Nintendo is a fine play. I don't know if Axel 10 would be tempted to defog, because they both have a Talonflame, but besides that, nothing is really weak to rocks. 
But I feel like Intendi cares a bit less about rocks. Since this has regenerated, this has magic guard, this doesn't care because it resists rocks and has lefties. This resists rocks times four. So Tita is the only thing that gets hit, neutri gets hit neutral but besides Talon, which gets hit four times effective. And Axel 10 has like three months that get hit neutral by the rocks so I guess they affect Excel 10 a little bit more the rocks if you just look at the typing or well, like how much months take from rocks um, this is bolt beam clef I don't know I don't think it beats the talent even with the bolt beam he just brings the metagross hard in because he knows this cannot go for t-wave since it's taunted and if this is hammer arm, I think he will go for hammer arm. Actually, there's a slow bro. Yeah, he, Nintendo just goes slow bro here. There's no point in going for hammer arm then. I was about to say predict the Pharaoh so and go for hammer arm, but nah. Why would you go for Pharaoh if you have a slow bro too? Like I guess he could be T punch and hammer arm on the same set, but that's not that come. And even if he's that set, I think Mega slow bro lives it anyway. So he makes a double that covers Slowbro slash Ferrothorn, which is Breloom in this case. I mean, Breloom kind of threatens the Slowbro, but... Like, if he gets the Ferrothorn here in on a Spore, on a Bullet Seed, Axel 10 just... Mm -hmm. Like, Ferrothorn beats Breloom one one especially because the potential Sash is broken. Like if he had a session tech, he could SD up and like get fire off a plus two hit versus Pharaoh. Ah, oh, this might just be live or him too. Not sure. Sash doesn't make too too much sense because like Gladius is not the most reliable default in my opinion. Yeah, it just goes for Bullet Seed, and then he gets in the Pharaoh Thorn for pretty much free since that did nothing. Just took a little bit of chip damage. And you just go for, I think, hmm. I think you just go for Jarrow Ball here, because like, Talonflam cannot come in that easy since Rock Throb. Suicune can come in, yes, but why would you go Suicune on a Pharaoh and like, potentially have Power Whip? You can pivot from Suicune, like go Suicune on a Jarrow Ball, and then go Lati on a Power Whip, but if it's HP Fire Lati, but I feel like Axel 10 is kind of weak to this, like, he doesn't have the best options to deal with this. Like that player I just mentioned doesn't accomplish much going from Suicune into into Lari. Cause like he just has a Tita on the bag and like he just has so many answers to Lari. Like that's only if you if Lari has a move to hit the Pharaoh Thor, that is. If Lari doesn't have HP fire, he cannot hit the Pharaoh anyway. He goes into Talonflame, which is really odd. So he has kind of forced to go for Brave Bird here. Um, I feel like he might make an aggressive play here and go for Will O Wisp. Because the lander switch is kind of obvious on a Brave Bird, which would give the Talonflame Bra um, Rocky Helmet recoil and Brave Bird recoil, which might even kill the Talonflame. So. Axel Time might make a really aggressive play and stay in with the Brutum, predicting that I need to roost or Will O Wisp. Because, like, Will O Wisp on the lander is, like, tempting. On the like you kind of want to make that play, but this is a tournament. It's not the ladder. Let me think. Let me think. I mean, if I'm Excel 10, I will probably yeah. He makes the aggressive play. Okay, natural gift. Dang, what was that? It was not natural gift. Fire. <laughs> Man said goodbye. I mean, I thought, I was thinking about maybe he could make this aggressive play because the Ruth slash Wisp was kind of obvious. But I really wasn't with him. Man's Axel 10 is real. That's clutch for him to get that play correct. So the question is, does he have um, Spore? I guess he doesn't have Spore. Actually, he would just... Oh, dang, he just got three hits. So Axel 10 is destroying Nintendo. This Brium kind of just wins now, holy... Yeah, Bullet Seed kills everything. I mean, you can Mega Evolve, but this is gonna get blown away. Yeah, th this game is over, holy... Stop this, man. Goodbye, Slowbro. Goodbye. Gets the three hits. I mean, gets the three hits twice, but that's like... 
not super lucky getting three hits. This just gets. I guess he could not have mug punch, but he has mug punch. He doesn't have spore. It's a wild brilliant set. I still don't know what natural gift that is. Let me think. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Not sure, but yeah, this premium just wins. Interesting. So Axel just 6 0 this man. I mean, I wouldn't have probably have made that premium play thing in you know, on the town flame, but it worked out. And like, when, when this type of play works out and you 6 0 your opponent, it's like. You look like a young savage, like a hero. But if it doesn't work out, you look like a fool, so. Thank you guys for watching. There was a beat down. I mean, it was kind of 50-50-ish there, I feel like... I feel like Wisping was still the better mid-ground play for Nintendi, because Wisp wouldn't have let the Bloom just destroy him. Like, Wisp hits the lander switch in and doesn't let Bloom destroy you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there's gonna be a lot more content coming, I can just repeat myself regarding that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, friends.